Back in the early 80s, they shut off the St. Croix River for elk life mm -hmm. passage. And before they shut it off, the numbers that they were giving out for the St. Croix River was equal to the total of the rest of the catch in the state of Maine. So basically, the outlines were being denied about 98% of their uh, ancestral habitat, mm -hmm. so they weren't able to um, spawn and breed. And for 22 years, they were not allowed to go above Grand Falls Dam. Last year, uh, with the help of many people, uh, LD72 was passed that would allow a board to be to be removed from the fishway at Grand Falls uh, Dam. And so uh, we're hopeful in 10 to 12 years that the numbers of alewives within that watershed will really um, recover and hopefully bounce back. That river has traditionally been uh, able to produce millions because of the uh, headwaters uh, very productive uh, LY spawning areas and uh, so we're hoping we can bring the population up so that the fish can uh, recover. I think we will be able to. I think it's going to work. It's like inviting your family over for Thanksgiving dinner. You've got 10 people. You've got one 12 pound turkey. When they get done eating there's not much left. Oh. <laughs> if you put two turkeys on the table, there's going to be leftovers for everybody. Mm -hmm. And that's just exactly what's happened. The predation has never changed, except maybe got worse. So if you take away half the food going out into the Gulf of Maine, what's left isn't much. And that's what's coming back into our brooks. Okay. And now they've opened up the St. Croix. And my theory is, and this is my theory, I could be wrong, but in a few years we're going to start to see all of the runs in the state of Maine pick up, mm -hmm. just because there's a lot more fish going out in the Gulf of Maine. Mm -hmm.